Hey guys, Anthony here with a review on Firefox 100, which was released on May 3rd and is the fifth major browser update in 2022 so far. There were a few notable changes in this new browser update, which I'll cover in this overview video. First up, an improvement in PIP or picture in picture mode. Firefox now supports displaying captions and subtitles on YouTube, Prime Video, and Netflix videos. So I'm currently on YouTube and I have this video open here. I've also got the closed captions turned on. If I use the PIP button and undock the video, you can see that the captions are displaying here. And I think this is a useful feature they added. Firefox will also support video captions with websites using WebVTT or Web Video Text Track Format like Corsesa, CBC, and others. Secondly, Firefox Spell Check. If you have Spelling Check enabled in Firefox, Firefox Spell Checking now checks spellings in multiple languages. In my case, I only have the English option. So I would need to add the respective language dictionaries by clicking this Add Dictionaries button. Thirdly, Firefox Color Schemes. Users can now choose preferred color schemes for websites. You can do so by going to About colon Preferences and in the General tab under the Website Appearance section. And lastly, Firefox 100 is the first three-digit version. This may cause some websites to break due to the new three-digit number. You can read more about it via this blog post. You'll find the link in the description section. So these were some of the notable changes in Firefox 100. You can check the list of detailed changes in the release notes. You'll find the link in the description section. In terms of the BrowserMark benchmark test results, the overall performance of Firefox remains steady compared to the earlier version, but Google Chrome continues to outperform. Well, that's it for now. Until next time, thanks for watching.